it's green. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Sonic Month video. So today we will be playing uh, Sonic 2 Anniversary Edition. So today is Sonic Tuesday, or November 24th, and that's when Sonic 2 came out in the US and Europe. So yeah, it's Sonic Tuesday, because that's what they called it, and also it's Tuesday. So yeah, question of the day. Or also, we're, yeah, we're playing Sonic 2 Anniversary Edition, which is a hack of Sonic 2. Which, like, overhauls everything, like, different sprites, palettes. Like, you can see. So, I'm gonna play as Knuckles and Tails because, yeah. I'll just show you a little bit of Sonic Sprite. Also, if you noticed, we're actually in a different emulator. So, I got Retro Arc working, and I got the Rewind in Fast Forward working. Except, the Fast Forward kind of doesn't look good, so I disabled it. But the Rewind still works. And for some reason, the aspect ratio is a little bit stretched, so that's kind of annoying, but eh, fine by me. So yeah, we're using RetroArch now because OpenEMU does not like my controller for some reason. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, that's pretty good. Sonic Tuesday on a Tuesday, that's pretty great. So yeah, like, it's, let's see, 28th anniversary since Sonic. It's the 28th anniversary of Sonic 2. Which I mean is probably one of my favorite Sonic games. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is probably my first favorite Sonic game. I, I, I like the 2D ones. And like there's a lot of people that like. are Like I honestly. I, I'm not like a classic Sonic fanboy. I just like 2D games. That's why I bought Sonic Rush. And Sonic Advance. Okay, so now we passed Act 1, and as you will see, if I could fast forward, this would be m m much quicker. Emerald Hill Zone Act 2 has a different palette. Also, the music is slightly remastered. You can't hear it, though, I, uh, because my emulator, or not my, my recording software doesn't support it. Also, you can see the speed shoes. It changes for which character you're playing as to match the shoes, which is cool. Okay, I was. Oh yeah, uh, I was like, wait, what was I gonna say? So I think you can stream through RetroArch because, like, while I was looking through the settings, there, like, there's a place where I can input like my YouTube stream key and my Twitch stream key. So if I can stream games through RetroArch, that would be pretty great because I don't have any other recording software to live stream. And I'd probably only live stream 2D games anyway because that's just how I am. Okay, climb up here. Um, I, I don't think I was supposed to go there. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, I've been, I, I just said that. <laughs> okay, so as you can, I've been playing through with this emulator. I even got like some super, like Super Nintendo games working. Also, yeah, oh, oh wait. If Eggman hurts you, he like, Plays a sound effect from Sonic Adventure, which I'm surprised they got that sounding good. I mean, yeah, this hack is really impressive. I love it. This is probably the the the, 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 the this is probably the definitive way to play Sonic 2. Okay, so yeah, I've deleted like the hacks that I've already played on the channel, but I'm gonna keep this. Just like how Sonic 3 complete is my definitive Sonic 3 on in my emulator. I don't know if there's any definitive version of Sonic 1 that I can run in an emulator yet. I just have the regular game, so... Hmm, I don't know. Also, there's, like, some voice samples from Sonic 3, like the Go. Unfortunately, you can't hear it, so... Yeah, I'll obviously put the download link for the hack in the description so you can play it. Because you, you need to play it. It's amazing. Okay... Also, I just realized something. Once the hacking contest is over, I'll have to, like, update all the links to be, like, from the vault. So, <laughs> that's gonna be not fun. I mean, then again, I'll probably just forget. And then you guys will have to go to the website itself. 
and go through the bolt. Then again, the hex I'll be playing for the rest of the series aren't even in like the main so Sonic hacking contest anymore. Heck, I'm pretty sure some of them weren't even on the sack, the, the sack, the sack, the sack contest. Yes, where where we where they judge your sacks. That's weird. Oh, we had 99 rings. We're so close to a, an extra life, but no, no. I we did I do a question of the? I don't think I did a question of the day yet. Question of the day: Who is your favorite character introduced in Sonic 2? Also, this chemical plant music is really different. Like, Tails, these guys. Like, just, like, characters and enemies. Like, I'm not sure. Like, so, you know, the Sonic at the end that you battle. So, it's called, like, Mecha Sonic. Without the K, or not K-H. So, I just call it Mecha Sonic. And in the 8-bit version, it's called Silver Sonic. But don't confuse them. Don't call them the same thing because they're not the same thing. I don't know why I sound like that. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're almost at the end. I'm going to show you a quick glimpse of what Sonic looks like because, yeah. Okay, let's... Let's roll around at the speed of sound. Normally, I wouldn't go through the chemical section, but... Oh yeah, I just want to show you. He j Sometimes he just randomly pushes the collision. I don't know why. But yeah. So, because also, there's like an option where you can like set the left analog stick to act as the D-pad. So I'm using that as well right now. I don't normally use that because I don't. I'm a retro gaming purist, obviously, even though I was born in like 2008. I wasn't even born around the time that this game came out. I wasn't even born until like the Wii came out, so. Yeah. Okay, let's do that and a that. And a that, and a that, and a that, that, that. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this retro arc emulator. I'm using the Pico Drive core. I maybe that's why. So I might switch to the Genesis Plus GS core, which is the other Genesis emulator. Like a core in RetroArch is like an emulator, like the second Genesis emulator. So yeah, we did it. So like here's the menu. I'm just gonna restart it so I can show you what Sonic Sonic and Knuckles locked on. Uh, uh, that's not what I want. <laughs> okay, so I guess if you like play as Knuckles and you have and you reset the game it like says that it's locked on. That's cool. Also, yeah, so here's Sonic Sprite. You can see like when he jumps it's like really smooth. I really like that. And uh yeah, so I'm I guess this is a good time to end off the video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload. Don't forget to also comment down below because I appreciate the feedback and support. And go subscribe to my second channel, Shy Guy Studios, where I upload gaming news and other retro gaming focused content. So yeah, that's that's the end. Happy Sonic Tuesday, everyone, and bye!